Wells Fargo CEO Tim Sloan says he is stepping down from the company effective immediately. Sloan has been CEO, president, and a member of the bank's board since 2016, when then-CEO John Stumpf was ousted after the bank revealed its employees created thousands of fake accounts without customers' knowledge. Since then, the bank also admitted to charging people thousands of dollars in unneeded auto insurance and accidentally foreclosing on hundreds of homes. Wells Fargo has shelled out nearly $4 billion in fines and settlements. Earlier this month, Sloan testified on Capitol Hill regarding the company's fraudulent activity under his leadership. First of all, it is true that... Wells Fargo opened up 1,500,000 fake bank customer accounts, correct? Uh, we, we don't know how many uh, uh, accounts were opened up inappropriately. We believe it could well, be to Mr. three and a half million. Well, Mr. Sloan, the fact that you answered that that you don't know gives us an idea of the size of the problem. Wells Fargo's general counsel, Alan Parker, is taking over as interim president and CEO while the company searches externally for a permanent replacement.